Hello, this is Genesis with episode 33 of Wasteland Nightmare. All right, this is the result of what I've been working on last night. Uh, now, this is kind of the design I had in mind for the greenhouse. Now, as you notice, I uh, kind of went, I put a lip all the way around here to further support it, make sure nothing falls. And I actually am using these cool uh, arch shapes that makes it blend in really nicely. Like, that looks, that looks really good. At least I think it looks pretty good. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's that's fine. I'm eventually going to go to Cobblestone anyways, but just, just wanted to get the frames done before I started that. Now, uh, the other thing I need to do is uh, look into getting bulletproof glass, but that's going to take some time. But we can at least put some layers here, and that's all going to be supported because now there's that, that lip, that little uh, pole that's going to go all the way across and support everything. But hey, that's all I got to use right now. Uh, most of my forge burning time has been going into making, you know, bolt casings and tips. We got some uh, bulletproof stuff uh, queued right behind it. Actually, let's cancel that and then requeue it. Um, what are we running low on? Sand. That's a lot of sand. At least it's being smelted in there. But 75. That's uh, that's gonna finish off one for sure. So that's that's pretty good. All right. Uh, the other thing I've been looking at, I'm starting to get some iron crafted here because um, there's another little project I have in mind. Actually, let me put some more brass in here. Uh, I'd like to move the drawbridge. Now, I know a lot of you said, oh, that, you know, that uh, water feature in the tree isn't really in the way. It's ruining the flow. You get a zigzag around. Right you are. So I'm going to center it right here. I'm going to move the drawbridge. I know that sucks. That's a lot of material, but I'm going to move it over here. And this is going to be a bit of <laughs> a bit of resource loss, but it uh, being able to drive all, you know, straight through and straight in will be very helpful. So I just drive in there, then back out, and out we go. Now, another suggestion would be to make it a drive-through, like a through uh, garage. But I'd, I'd knock that wall off. I'd have to have another drawbridge over here. And then I have to drive around the waistline. Honestly, that sounds like a lot more work than just be, you know, backing in <laughs> and then backing out. So I think that that's my, uh, um, the way I'm going to go with it. It seems like the least amount of destruction. All right, speaking of destruction, I'm going to knock this down. I think it's, what, five blocks wide? So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this will be how wide it's going to be and where it's going to be placed. So I'll need to knock that down. Uh, well, gosh, at least I started, I started doing cement last night as well. So it's going to be a bit of digging. Let's start with that. There, that was a smarter way to do it. Just had to break down the uh, outer edges of that. Now, speaking of edges, I'm eventually going to be doing the um, finishing up the trench. It's just been kind of a low-ish priority because right now it's functional. Now, what's going to suck is I'll have to have to also have to get these pulled off, the motion sensors. That's going to be a job and a half. Now, how long is it going to take for that iron? Because if I can get that sooner than later... Oh, actually, I almost have enough, right? Power drawbridge. I just need... Yeah, a little bit more, just a little tiny bit more, and that's on the way, so that'll be done sooner than later. So let's go ahead and take apart the old one, and that's going to kill me. Uh, that's that's going to suck, and I also have to do some rewiring, which is also not ideal. So, all right, may as well get started. All right, so we got that bridge down, we got this kind of uh, started here, and that's the mark where it's supposed to go. Uh, can't jump that, that's not a bad thing. All right, so I'm sure I have enough material to get our drawbridge started. Let's pop right over here. Oh, that's a cobblestone. There's the iron. All right, I'll probably I probably should queue up some more uh, because I, I seem to be using a lot of it lately, and I'll need to go mining for some more sooner than later. Okay, reinforced drawbridge. That's, that's another 15 minutes. Ah. Oh boy. All right, now how is our? Oh, snap! I didn't. Uh... Okay, let me drop some wood in here. Yeah, there we go. That should... Yeah, that's exactly it. Perfect. All right, so that's going to be another 72. That's going to... That's going to take a while. All right, well, uh, before I get too settled here... Yeah, I'm going to need some resources. Hmm, that's going to take 17 minutes. That's going to take a long time. Uh, that's already started. I can... I don't want to do that right away. Hmm. Okay, well... Let's take a break. Let's uh, drop our resources, uh, do some do some quests and stuff like that, and uh, take a bit of a break. Break up the day, as I tend to like to do, and then uh, come back and spend the rest of the day on the Oasis. That's that's my flow, and it seems to work for me. All right, gold bullets, got medicine, got all my stuff I need to go. 
Uh, and this is... Hold on, get close enough here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's empty. Perfect. At the very least, with this, we don't need a drawbridge right now. So we're, we're fine without for just the meantime. All right, say goodbye to the Oasis. We are going to do a quest and then come back and do some more work on it. And I'd love to finish off that greenhouse today if the, you know, glass smells fast enough. We shall see. I should probably even start a second forge with the resources required for it, seeing how much I need to go through. All right, uh, to wherever I'm going. I don't remember. Bookstore. That's, that's a bookstore. And I think this is a different bookstore, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, is this the two cracker books? Yeah, it is. So this is the spot I'd, I'd uh, saved for later. Cool. All right, let's get our attack rifle. Ooh, is that all the bullets I have? I think so. I mean, that should be enough. I guess I used more than I thought I did and I didn't reload. But I still have lots of uh, magnum bullets, so we should be good. All right, so let's get this. Hold on. Oh, man, it hasn't been looted. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. All right, I just did a quick double dip. And uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and say it. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I, I have a long history of saying, oh, I'm sorry for double dipping. But you know what? This is just how I play. And uh, I'm sorry you don't like that. But I'm not sorry that I did it. It's just... That's just the way it is. All right, but we did get some uh, good things out of it. I got a Desert Vulture schematic, so I am not regretting the damn thing about that. Tuna fish gravy toast. I know some that sounds awful to pretty much everybody, but what the hell? It's good eatins, regardless of how it sounds. All right. Now, I know, I know this place backwards and forwards, so there's no really big deal that I did the double dip first because I've seen this place a million times. But what I am going to do is I'm going to make up for it by... Uh, doing a brawling montage. So for that, I'm going to grab a skull crusher. Uh, that's going to last five minutes. I'm going to grab some beer. I'm not going to bother with. Uh, I think that's all I have. Yeah, that's fine. The uh, beer and the skull crusher should be more than enough. So that's going to last us five minutes. And then we're going to get a little hammered. Hold on, hold on. Hammered. There we go. That's going to be a minute and a half. I'm going to drink it again. Three minutes. Plenty of time. All right. Let's go fuck them up. Right. That was not too bad. I took a few bumps and bruises, so taking a fort bite probably would have been smarter. But hey, <laughs> it's, uh, we're not about smart today. You know what, uh, Shooty? You watch my back. I'm gonna open this up. All right, that's all cracked open. Loot goggles are indeed on. And what do we win? Um, okay, schematic. Stuff to sell, basically. Uh, stuff I already have. And crack this open too. Book. Now, ideally, I'd like to get some books. Yeah, there's a drone schematic. Uh, I'd love to get some more brawling books. There's a couple critical ones I am missing that I would have really liked to find. But so far, not yet. We still have the bookstore to go through. And I will, uh, of course, show you the uh, highlights of uh, whatever good books that I found. Can I just get over there? There we go. Uh, okay, that was a, um, how would you call that? A customized fitting mod schematic, which I might end up actually making some. If I'm going all steel, I want to get some mobility back if I can. I think that is it for this room. I got that, yes. And I got this. Oh, hey, look at that. Ow! That dog. Alright, so now that's done. Yeah, now that's done. Let's go through the... Yeah, go through the front. <laughs> Gotta go double my way back. And then grab all of the books. All right, just finished grabbing all of the books. All right, so uh, any highlights? Not really. I guess I learned how to make an auto shotgun and impact driver, actually. That was pretty much the only nice thing I found in there. Now, Desert Vulture. You know what? We have a point available, right? Agility, Gunslinger. Now, I can get, uh, I think I, I want to build a, a Desert Vulture. I really do. Unless we find a tier six, like, right away. It, that probably might happen, considering I just started spending points on it. 
So, all right, let's, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to head back direct and uh, get the uh, get that stuff sold. Turn the quest in. Ideally, get up a uh, point in, um, what do you call it? Uh, there's a word I'm looking for. Uh, get a point up in uh, uh, tier, so I can get a tier 4 POIs. I should probably do a quick round and go hit Joel and the other lady there, uh, Jen, and see what the stocks they have. Because, uh, you know, their stocks have reset, and I'd like to get to each of them before they reset again, just to see if there's anything really good I should be keeping an eye out on. Alright, arriving back at Wrecked, let's go ahead and sell all of this crap. I'll sell you good. Uh, Magnum you ahead. Man. Actually, you know what? Uh, hold on, hold on. We have so many of these uh, sugar butts that I should go ahead and take one right away and uh, make all of the uh, best use of all of these uh, books I just found. Oh, yes, uh, of course, reward. Looks like the best one is definitely the steel shovel. Okay, grab that. Ooh, we did finish tier three. Ooh, melee mods, magnum bundle. Hmm. Okay, I don't need a 44 magnum because I got the best one. Range mods, security camera bundle. Interesting. Hmm. I think range mods is probably going to be our best bet. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. Special jobs. Uh, trade routes. Trader Bob. Wait, do we know Trader Bob? <gasps> we don't know Trader Bob. Okay, guess guess what? That's, that's where I'm going next. All right. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother with any of your jobs because they're all tier three, whatever. Let's uh, sell some stuff. All right. Stuff sold because you didn't want any steel spears. Oh, man. Okay, muzzle break, so we're double checking. Shit, man. Uh, let's take a look at this. Good, and you don't Ooh, even drum magazine. Me. Don't mind if I do. Let's slime it right on here. That increase our magazine size to oh, 58. That is just fantastic. Uh, that's not going to affect that. Though it will if I get the, uh, what do you call it, the um, Desert Vulture. Now that's an 8 scope mod. Hmm. I don't think I want it on that. Maybe I'll get some sort of a sniper thing going eventually. And we already have that, so... All well and good. I still believe... I think I might have some uh, some other books, that, uh, if I remember correctly, in here. Yeah, I do. All right, let's uh, grab these two. Yeah, no, bookstores are pretty good for cash. That was another five grand. Cha -ching! Awesome. Cha-ching, hey. indeed. You know, well, thanks, buddy. That was a damn near pleasant interaction, Rack. I don't know. We must be losing a touch. All right, let's head to the west. There's a landmine there. That's, that's probably a dud. Probably. Yeah, probably. All right, let's head to the west. Let's go see Trader Bob, if I can get this thing off the ground. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, let's go Trader Bob in a whole new town. I'm I'm excited. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go say it right now. I'm not going to miss the wasteland when this series is concluded. It is uh, it is dreary. It is not nice to look at. Not visually appetizing. Oh, there we go. Hit the ground. And fuck this guy. Bob! Huh? Trader Bob. Let's go say hi to Trader Bob and uh, raid his uh, vending machine. Uh, hackers. Mm -hmm. Jailbreakers. Eye candy. There we go. Love those. Some chili. All right. Let's see what uh, it's going on with Bob. Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I don't have any lockpicks. Do you have any lockpicks, Bob? Go, let's take a quick gander. Uh, lock. No, you don't. How about in your stash? Lock. I should probably make some. I know I should. I, I don't have any holly, do I? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, throw those in here. And, oh, I do have lockpicks. Look at that. That's a great place to keep them. All right, let's crack this open. First try. That's exciting. Um, that's probably not worth loot candy. Nah. Okay, ooh, tier six sledgehammer. Let's uh, repair that. And then motor tool tank mod. I might actually... Uh, yeah, I'll. I don't. Can I make the large one? I might have got the, the schematic for the large one. I do. So the the other one's of no use to me. All right. So wait. Yeah, that's still taking. So sell that. Sell that. And see what you got for sale. Make puffer coats. No, thank you. Dynamite. That doesn't sound handy at all. Crucibles. Um, SMG is only level three, so that's still not worth it. Mm, motorcycle. All right, I'm not seeing anything that uh, tickles the fancy, but we do have another stash to check out here in a second. Uh, let's grab some eggs. Why not? And some pasta, dog food, and I think that is going to be it. 
Pleasure okay. doing business. That is it. Let's go ahead and swap our stashes and see if there's anything here. Barrel extender. Tempting, but mm, nah. Ooh, archery. Uh, shot to the arrow. Cripples them. Cool. And the rest of it I don't care much for. Y'all come back now. Learn that. Okay, that doesn't quite finish it, but I'm sure we're getting close. I mean, we're getting close in a lot of these. Archery. Yep, yeah, one more. And then we get the bulk craft arrow. It's not like we're hurting for them, really. All right, so that was Bob. So, I mean, he's got tier... Oh, he's only tier one, right? Because they, they get the traitor faction thing. Nearly forgot about that. All right, I may as well go ahead and check uh, the loot in his, uh, his vending or his machines here. And then we'll take a quick peek around the town. I assume there's a town here to see if there's anything worthwhile. And then zip back over to Joel and then to Jen. And ideally, we'll have some time left to work on the Oasis again today. All right, that's all of interest. There's really just random crap in the... Uh... Oh, actually, no, I forgot to sell the... You know what? Never mind. I'll, uh, I'll save the mod if I end up selling... What do you call them? Uh, stash everything in here. End up selling a... Uh... Oh, gosh, I forgot to set my stash levels. Um, if I could sell any uh, power tools, it'd be good to have that mod to increase the value. All right, let's get my loadout set, and then let's do a little bit of a cruise around the town. Hold up, before we cruise around the town, actually, it's... Let's take a look over here. Uh, this looks to be, yeah, this looks to be the uh, silo. Now we could get some a little bit of oil shale since we're here. Yeah, this looks like the one I've I've seen before. So it's not like the uh, one that has more shale than usual. Man, that took a lot of punches. Are we thirsty? No, we're not. We're not too bad. All right, just one guy in here to take care of him. All right, so there's probably just a couple shale here. May as well grab it. All right, two shale, or 200 shale, I guess. That's, that's a shame. I know there's another one around, and now that I know, I know what it looks like, it's that, of course, easy to spot, circular thing. We could actually look around the town and see if there's another one that we've passed by that we could, uh, that we could see. No, I don't think so, at least not in that town. How about over where Joel is? Um, no. I don't think so, but we'll keep an eye out on, because if you can see that one that I was thinking of, I think there's a lot more in it. All right, again, let's uh, do a zip around the town, just to see, uh, just to get the layout, to see if there's anything interesting. And then, yeah, we will uh, we'll head back over to Joel. Hey, look, it's another one of these uh, silo things. Ooh, can I avoid crashing on that? No. Uh, ow. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's, uh, take care of that. Do we piss someone off? And we're infected. Ah, uh, Holly, come here a second. Take a pill. Ah, <sighs> that was a shit show entirely. All right, may as well just get on in here and uh, grab the shell. Okay, arm's broken. And I have an abrasion. We can fix the abrasion. Now, of course, uh, pro me completely forgot to uh, reload the damn thing. So I was stuck reloading while they were beating on me. And that's how you die. That's how you get stupid things happening. All right, cast on. That's that's fixed. Abrasion is good. And Holly, I I'm a little peckish. You got some food on you. I'm pretty sure I saw some, yeah, some pumpkin pie. Uh, let's, let's drop a gumbo stew down. That's going to overfill us a bit, which is cool, because uh, that still gives us the benefit. All right, so yeah, shale, that's what we came here for. All right, another 200 shale, that's not quite worth the trouble we came here for, but hey, that'll give us some extra fuel, all well and good. Um, of course, take care of these guys. All right, let's get this gyrocopter moved and out of the way. That was just, that was just a shit show entirely. Okay, let's get this uh, planned out here. Mm -hmm. May as well refuel since we're down. Put the stuff back in there, like so. There we go. And back to the skies. Well, look at this. There's two more. Oh, is that the one I think it is? Okay, I got a little excited, so I landed a little rough. All right, so, you know what? We're just gonna have to shoot. We okay now? Not quite. Oh god, that reload is slow. 
My injured arm. Okay, can we just stop? There. <laughs> I felt wrong. Okay, there's this has a lot of shale. So you know what? I'm feeling this might be worth using a rock breaker. Because there's two of them right beside each other. So we're bound to get a little bit extra. Uh, do I have any coffee? Do you, do you have coffee? Did I see some coffee in there? Mm, damn. If I had coffee, that would have sped it up even more. Is there coffee in here? No. No. Okay. All right, that's fine. We still got a rock breaker. All right, I think I saw the shale in this one. From the looks of it. Yeah. Now, what about this one? Is it? I think this might be the uh, third variation I was thinking of. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, oh, look at this. Yes. That's what I was thinking of right there. And some over here, too. Um, it's definitely the one I was thinking of. Because that was in... Gosh. Oh, where did I see this? The Mastermind series. That's where I saw this place. Uh, bird. Bird. There we go. All right. Let's get this digging and see how much we can get. You know, after I get some gas. Alright, I think that is it. Let's take a little bit of a run around, just in case I, I did I missed something. Which is entirely possible. It's happened at least once. If you've watched uh, enough of my videos, you might have spotted a, spotted a few things. Spotted, <laughs> spotted a few things. Uh, yeah, 2,200 shale between these two places. So there's 2,000 shale, because I think it's an extra 10% I'm getting from this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, doesn't say the specifics, but I think it's 10%. Because the first note I got gave me 210. Oh wait, that's more of a 5% then, isn't it? Oh, hey, there's a... Yeah. Or was it 210 or two, uh, 220? I don't know. Check the footage. Okay, this is not going to end well. Good lord. Okay. Fucking ow. They hit hard. Can we just say that? Like, holy shit, ouch. Okay. Alright. We're fine. We're fine. We got a like, shit ton of shale. Like... That is most definitely what I was here for. All right, back to the skies, but I think we should probably head to Droll right now. I don't think it's, there's too much more to the city. And, uh, oh God, this I this helicopter, fucking, fucking hate it. Give me a proper helicopter one of these days, because this thing is for the birds. Hey, there's a bird. You know, before the series is done, I'm gonna have to do that building, the Cracker Book. Man, going through, going through that place with the, uh, the game stage I have now in the wasteland, that is going to be nuts. I, I'd better come packing <laughs> with all the ammo and everything I need for that, because that is going to be a complete shit show. And uh, ideally, I'll have some more points into, you know, pain tolerance, I'll have full steel armor. So, still got some time though. Oh, look at that over there. That's the uh, the clock tower. Man, if uh, out of nostalgia, I'd be tempted to you know, if this series wasn't about the whole Oasis thing, I would totally live there. Because <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was uh, my favorite thing about that series. I really like the Clock Tower. Alright, the Riding of Joel's. We have a little bit of time left, but not for you. A little bit of time left. Okay, you make sure you're on the right side of that. Alright, Joel. I don't have a lot of time on me, so show me your goods. Alright, I see some solar cells. Hmm. Um, man. I don't have the cash on me right now, but that's fine. I don't have the solar bank yet. I don't see anything. Uh, um, uh oh. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not going to make it to Jens today. That's fine. We can break it up a bit. Uh, nice acid. Or hold on. Yeah, hold on. Acid. Now let's take a look at your second stash before we get booted. Uh, here we go. Uh, looky, da, 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 da. I don't see anything here that stands out to me. No. Okay. Now, idea. Maybe I can make it to the vending machine. And then, uh, yeah, health bar here, beer. All right. And we're out. 
And so are you. Oh, re oh god, this reload's gonna kill me one of these days. Thank you, barbed wire. Cool. All right, let's head back to the Oasis and uh, maybe do a little bit of work tonight, because I know I've been doing a lot of flying and traveling today. So just so the episode doesn't end up super short, uh, we'll go into overtime and do some Oasis work. Right here's the Oasis. Let's uh, do a little bit of a nose dive here. Bam. Yeah, I call that a good landing. All right, how is there a stash here? Oh, that, that loot lag. Oh, almost. Almost. Actually, you know what? Let's drop the sand. Uh, I'm going to drop... Um, I guess I don't really drop some clay. I guess I don't really need to drop things. I'm like right here. But I wanted to get all in one run. All right, let's clean some inventory and then take a look at the situation. Now, just as an aside, let's see. Uh, we got 2,600 oil shale, and that would make us 26,000 gas. That is just... I already have a fair, a fair amount on me, and I might end up making some asphalt... Well, you know, we'll see. But in the meantime, I uh, I just I just know I'm not running out of gas anytime soon, and that's just tremendous. And while I'm thinking about it, let's uh, extend the magazine, make it full auto, and recoil doesn't matter. I don't think there's much else that would matter. Um, tighten the spread. Does that work for that? It does. Okay, maybe that'll just be, it'll be more accurate? I don't know. It'll add the damage regardless, and I don't think anything else would benefit from it. Oh well. Almost done. Alright, looks like we have uh, 44 bulletproof glass ready to go. And that's great. How much more can we make? 20. I'm probably going to use it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, screw it. Let's just do that. Now, we have a thousand bullet tips and a thousand casings. And I don't know which ammo I'm going to need more of right away. Oh, wait. Okay, stashed away shooting for some reason. Oops. And, oh wait, we have uh, one of these mods. Uh, can I fit one somewhere? Yes, right here. Well, hold on, it's light rating. Boots, that takes four. Uh, I think it doesn't matter. As long as it reduces some of my mobility loss, all the better. Cool. All right, let's take a look at this greenhouse. Maybe we can even finish up this tonight. All right, so ideally I can get this roof done here. So there, there. And then I'm going to do a... Plate. Actually, actually, no. Let's do the full block. There. And then the block's going to come all the way across. So I'll put another block here. And then let's switch back to our... There we go. And there we go. There we go. Okay, we're, we're almost there. I could probably put it all the way across and get that part done. Let's make sure I didn't miss a spot here. No, 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 no. That's good. All right. It makes me nervous to do it like this. But at least we have the, uh, hold on, er, that green glow telling us it's not going to fall. Okay, that's all the way across. So that's going to help us uh, not fall on our butts every time we uh, do this. And then we can start doing this. If I'm not mistaken, I believe... That is the the bulk of it. Now, for aesthetic sake, do I... That would be a waste of bulletproof glass, to be honest. I mean, if I just have infinite glass, I would do this. And then go all the way across. And that would look nicer. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, uh, 23, 24... It would cost me 24 bulletproof glass to make that. Oh, shit, I'm missing one right here. <laughs> um, so, it, yeah, maybe a little bit more. So that would be that's a lot of glass that I would, probably wouldn't need. Let's rotate. Uh, just to make myself feel better, I'm going to look at it this way. Make sure I'm not doing something stupid here. And yes. Okay, now it's completely solid. All right, let's uh, grab some materials and upgrade the hell out of that because I don't want anything to fall at this point because that would be devastating. All right, we got our cobblestone, we got our concrete. So yeah, let's, um, wait, wait. Um, okay, on the other side, I did it across like that. And uh, does that look nicer? I think it actually looks nicer that way. So which means I would need to replace that bulletproof glass, that row at least in order to look. 
That's going to bug me. <laughs> God damn it. That's going to bug me. Okay. That was heartbreaking and glass breaking. <sighs> All right. So what we'll need to do to fix this is just to copy those plates right here. Copy shape, copy rotation, and then plate, plate. I would have saved me some trouble. Collie, you're in the way. Thank you. There, there. All right. Let's do a quick upgrade-a-thon before we end the day. All right. There we have it. A uh, relatively complete greenhouse. I still got some painting to do, but that's that's what I had in mind. It looks pretty decent, I think. I still, uh, yeah, I'll tie it, you know, tidy up some things, some corners maybe, and uh, definitely, definitely need a paint job. And I wish I had a better door than this. Uh, maybe what we'll do is go all the way to iron, and that will probably look, that probably look better. Anyways, this has been Genosis with episode 33 of Wasteland Nightmare. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. If you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and catch us next time where I'll probably be doing another greenhouse, but most definitely be getting ready for Horde Night.